That was uh, not exactly the way you guys wanted that to go, was it? Um, no, but um, it was, it's not. We started brightly, um, got, our, got our football um, down and played football. We, we started well, but obviously to concede a goal uh, like we did was very disappointing. Um, I think we finished the half strongly as well. Uh, we didn't let the goal um, affect us too much and obviously going into half-time when we're down is not ideal. And then I think in the second half we conceded two sloppy goals, which we're not happy about. How frustrating is that? You obviously had so much of the ball, yet it seemed that Sunderland were able to do so much more with it in the few times they did have it. Yeah, I mean, if you think and look at it, we got 70% possession, but we didn't do enough with it. Um, and that's what we're talking about, getting the ball into the areas where we can hurt teams, um, create chances, score goals, and that's what we want to do here, especially at home, score goals and uh, play attractive football for the fans. And unfortunately, we didn't do that today. I, what, I'm wondering, in, in terms of you guys, clearly you want your, the philosophy with the, with the possession and whichever, and Sunderland obviously just been relegated as well. Did it did it feel like there was a, a gap in terms of the quality they had, and you trying to bridge that? Um, no, I think if you look at it, we had all the ball, we had technical players, we have good players. They were just a little bit more effective in the final third than us. Um, I think we can go a long way this season. We've got a special group, um, very talented group, great manager. Um, and I think if the fans stay patient with us and keep on giving the support they did today, we'll be fine. Is there an element of maybe wishing this setback had happened in pre-season? Because it, clearly this is, this is going to be a lesson for you. I know it hurts. You could have done with it sooner. Um, I mean, obviously we don't want the, the setback at all. Um, but obviously to happen in the season isn't great. Um, but we need to learn. We need to learn from the mistakes. Um, that's what's going to um, be different from us to another team. The way that we deal with the setbacks um, and how we deal with the losses here. Um, we want to create this as a fortress this year, so it's not an ideal start, but we'll go again Wednesday. I was going to say, that at least there's a quick turnaround. Yeah, and that's great in the Championship. When you're winning, you can get uh, game momentum and keep on winning, but when you're losing, you've got another game just around the corner. So back to training tomorrow morning. We'll, I'm sure we'll debrief the game, go over a few things, and uh, we'll be ready for Wednesday. And finally, obviously it fell flat in the end, but your thoughts on your first experience of Carrow Road from, from kick-off and how it was at the start? Yeah, it was a really special moment. I've, Got a few goosebumps to start with when the crowd were roaring um, just just before kickoff, and in the huddle, um, some great words from Russell Martin, who's obviously been here a long time. Um, I want to feel the the special the special days that they've had here um, over the last few years, and I want to get them back. Harrison, thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot.